tell me a little bit about the fiscal fim. So you mentioned that saving can be difficult and just like you, I started the fiscal fund because I was having a really hard time saving and I needed money help myself. And so it really all started from a need and then I discovered so much power and freedom from my journey that I made it my mission to share it with people everywhere. I started off in my career, I wasn't able to save any money. We don't talk about it, we don't learn about it, so we don't realize that we're sitting across from our best friend and they're going through the same thing. But despite the fact that we don't learn about it, we can't talk about it, it's very emotionally charged, I do believe that money is just a tool for us to have and experience what we want in life. Financial wellness is actually an often overlooked part of our overall well-being because money is the number one stressor of Americans for many, many years and that stress impacts our physical, emotional, mental health, and also seeps into our relationships and our overall well-being. So according to the study, it's true, and it makes a lot of sense because 30% of your score is how much debt you have and how much you owe, and 35% of your score is if you're paying your bills. So it makes sense that someone who is dependable and reliable in their money life would also be dependable and reliable in other areas. But make it easy on yourself. And that's a theme that you'll see through this whole presentation is this doesn't have to be hard. Anytime we want to keep money for ourselves, we have to pay ourselves first. When we have an online savings account that's separate, it's out of sight, out of mind, and we can have money transfer over to it automatically. With your lunch example, with bringing your lunch, it was a win-win scenario for you. Because, yeah. And I call that being fabulously frugal because you get to know what's in your food, bio. you're being healthier, <laughs> and you're saving. If someone spends $15 a day on lunch, five days a week, that's $3,600 a year that they could that's allocate somewhere yeah. else that would make them happier. So you've created a win-win situation, and we can do that in all areas of our lives, which is really fun. This is my favorite point from the whole study, is that if you increase your score, you can actually increase your likelihood of finding a partner even in the next year. That's unbelievable. MasterCard is going to be really happy okay, to hear that. Pay your credit that. card bills. <laughs> Ashley Feinstein, thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you so Ashley. much for having me. If you're looking at me and thinking, there's no way that I can actually save right now. I am just getting by paycheck to paycheck. Start really small. You can start with $5 a paycheck, $5 a week and what you'll find, it's magical, that you actually won't miss it. So when you start small, you'll see, okay, that's interesting, that didn't matter, so now let me try to up the ante, double that. Do you not miss the $10? If that sounds like you, I recommend going home and trying that, setting up that $5 transfer to just get started, and as soon as you do that, you are now a saver. Thank you so much. Cheers.